Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can do the Twitter data mining within the R. So the basic idea is to connect to Twitter and then fetch the tweets related to the subject that we want to search and then clean the data with the help of the text mining package and then creating a word cloud for uh, or to basically understand how the tweets are coming related to that subject. So some of the interesting things that happens around this subject is, uh, as I have shown in my previous videos uh, that I have, uh, if I go down here, a couple of videos I have shown on the word cloud related to the speech of the, uh, of the uh, you know, big leaders. So something like, uh, you know, what Obama is saying or what Trump is saying. So here in India, what... Narendra Modi as a Prime Minister is saying makes a lot of sense uh, or a lot of importance because whatever they say based on that their policies get decided and with the help of their speech, their tweets, we can understand what uh, they are really talking about and how the future will going to shape based on the words they are saying today. So that's the quick background about why you would really like to do the text mining from Twitter. Uh, apart from that, within the corporation, you want to, let's say, launch a particular product. Before that, you may want to see that uh, how the diff similar other products are being perceived on the, in, on the Twitter uh, as per the reactions from the users. So you can do kind of a sentiment analysis and say whether users are angry with the product or happy with the product, not happy with certain type of a feature you can really understand with this with this uh, thing so we will look at later in the stage about how you can do the sentiment analysis as well so let's go ahead and in this first video what we will going to do is uh, set up a connection with twitter so i'll explain that how you can uh, uh, you know go to twitter and create an application that application works as an interface for uh, or a communication interface between r and twitter and then within the R, what are the packages that you need for doing the Twitter data analysis? All right, uh, first of all, let's go to Twitter. And if I go here, that's the link you need to go, apps.twitter.com. If you already have an apps app created, then uh, it will list down over here. Like I have uh, created once, which is, RH sentiments to do the sentiment analysis. So creation of app is very simple. First of all, you need to be logged in into your account and then go to this link apps.twitter.com and simply go and create a new app. Just click it over here. You can provide the name and name may be uh, Twitter underscore data underscore analysis. So it will check whether the name has been taken or not. Description uh, app to do the twi Twitter analysis in our website. You can give any website. What I usually is go ahead with HTTPS colon slash slash as maybe Google. Or you don't you don't really have to provide. Uh, a website which probably you own you can just go ahead with this dummy website and then go ahead with the callback url if you have anything if not then you can leave it blank as it is blank as it is not mandatory and you just go ahead and say yes and create your application once you create your application uh, it will show you the details so the details which you really need is basically a api key and uh, within after the api key uh, there are other keys that you need and how you can get it it's basically keys and access tokens this particular section so that's the key we uh, we saw here in the details page and then you need a consumer or api secret key and then down there uh, your access tokens that's what uh, you need to create the access tokens to directly go ahead and uh, mine the data otherwise it will ask you to log in and do all of that things which probably you know increase the 
uh, efforts in connecting the data. So that's the access token that has been created for you and that's the secret access token. So those are the four details that you really need is, is basically API key, consumer secret API key, access token, access token secret. Once you are done with this, uh, all of this configuration, what you can do is uh, go into R. So let me open R and here what do we have is uh, what I have is basically the library which is Twitter. That's what the library that you need. And if you see, um, let's say if you don't have it, you can go ahead and install dot packages and say Twitter. Once you are done with that, then you can basically create small objects which stores all of your API key, API secret key, access token, access secret token, so that you don't have to write these uh, long strings again and again, but you can simply access these objects whenever necessary. Like here, I am doing in a setup Twitter authentication so that it's quite easy and readable when you are doing this. So once you have these four keys, as I have mentioned in the previous step from Twitter, you can store it as a text string in these objects. So let me press control enter to import the library, API key, API secret key, access token, access secret token. Then the function you need to run is the setup Twitter OAuth. What it does is basically directly set up your connection from R to uh, Twitter and then you can start fetching the tweets. So set up Twitter OAuth, you do the control enter. So it is using direct authentication. Otherwise, uh, there are a couple of other things that you can just specify API key, API secret key, and then it, you know, ask you further more parameters. But, you know, I just want a direct access so that I created direct access token and access token secret. That That's how it helps me. And I don't have to do much configuration and things are easy for me. At least when I'm starting, when I'm reaching to some advanced stage, I can really look into that and uh, you know set up more security more a uh, better way of doing things so after you have set it up the twitter authentication you are all set to get the tweets so you can search here i have searching by red hat which does the linux related work or to the product based company uh, specifically into uh, linux software operating system maybe you want to change it to let's say something like uh, Trump and get 500 tweets so that's n is equals to 500 means basically the 500 words so what you can say it see it over here search Twitter that's the same function that I'm using it over here and then search string the query to use uh, plus to separate the query terms we will look it look into it later but uh, you can just provide the search term the maximum number of tweets to return so n is equals to 500 is nothing but number of tweets so let's go ahead and control press control enter now it is searching the twitter for the word trump and as you can see it is running the uh, the background operation for you and it's done it it uh, takes around four or five seconds to really fetch the 500. I think the maximum number of tweets that you can get is 3200. You can look at the uh, documentation for that, but I think that's 3200. So here, just to get the number of tweets idea. Uh, so you press and dot tweets, control enter, it's 500, so good. After this, we can convert it into a data frame with the function uh, TW list to DF. So basically just to have a better understanding of tweets, uh, what, what is really happening and as well as to extract only the information which is useful for us. So we will see in a couple of seconds that not only tweets, but it's related information is coming when you are running this command. So first of all, we need to convert the tweets into data frame and the function is TW that means tweet list to data frame. 
So it is coming in list, but now we are converting into a data frame. So control enter takes a couple of seconds and it's done. And now let's go ahead and view the tweets. Control enter. All right, so here we have the text. I think that's where we are really interested in. We get favorited, we get favorite count, reply to us then, created when this tweet was created, truncated whether it is truncated or not because of the word size limit or word length limit, reply to SID, all of that information which probably useful or as you can see, I think screen name, the person who has really done that tweet is retweet. So that's another very interesting observation that whether things are getting retweeted from a particular screen name or not and uh, you know, things like that is retweet, retweeted, all of that information which probably useful for you when you are looking deep down. But right now, uh, what we are really interested in into looking at the text. So that's how uh, you can really go ahead and set up the Twitter uh, application, create a Twitter application and get the data into a, some sort of meaningful format where you can review like a data frame as, as I have done it over here and then do the data analysis. So the, as you can see, the next step is cleaning the tweets uh, like a similar process that we have done in the past for doing the word cloud feature and then finally creating the word cloud. So that I'm keeping it for the next video so that you can practice it uh, with different type of tweets and uh, really create the API key, secret key and all of those access token, secret access token and create it. The only thing you need to really take care of is basically don't share this information uh, with anyone. So, so that's something if you are sharing these, all of these secret keys and API keys, it means that somebody will going to take this and start fetching the data and may, you know, lead into something unavoidable instance or issues because it is related to your account. So be aware with that and don't share it on a, anywhere on a public. Uh, like if you are you have already see, shared it or for some reasons like in this case I am sharing it with you what I can do is I can just go ahead and delete the application and uh, in that way all of those accesses will be removed and nobody will be able to access it. So that's pretty much all I have for this video and I'll meet you in the new video where we will clean the tweets, create a workload and then in next video we will do some sort of sentiment analysis and look at uh, some other features of uh, doing the Twitter data mining. Alright, thanks for watching the video and stay tuned for the next one.